We've got some dialogue here from a film I worked on a little bit ago. Here's uh, what it sounds like. Garth likes to play down his contribution. Don't you believe it? What he did that day, no captain had ever done. And you wouldn't normally think that, you know, dialogue would be a good source of sound effects or anything like that. Um, but here in uh, RX, um, there's a lot of things that we can do. And we'll do something as simple as just grab the brush tool here. That's this right here, little brush tool. And if I click and hold down, I can change the size. But we'll just start with a small size. And one of the nice things about RX is that it'll actually, and Audition does this as well, um, it'll actually play your selection, which is super cool. What? And you can see that we're just, it's just following the line that I've made with this little brush. And if I get really energetic about, oops, let's hold down shift for a second. And here, something like this. And you wouldn't actually know that was dialogue, some kind of weird altered dream. Now we can also click and hold on the brush tool and we'll make a bigger size and we can add to the selection if we want. Maybe some of her fundamental, maybe some of these sibilants. There's a slip smack here. We'll add some of this in and some of her opening, maybe some of her breath. Add a little breath. See what happens. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Now you're starting to feel like, oh, yeah, it's got a little uh, humanity to it. The other thing we can do is hold down the option key. And with the option key, it deselects things. So we can chop through and do whatever we want here. Like this. Maybe add some low frequencies like this. We can also use the wand tool. That's this. I can hit W. If I hold down shift, I can just kind of do this. Sorry, not the wand tool, the lasso tool. Let's use the lasso tool. This kind of a thing here. Sure. Now, you wouldn't know what she was saying necessarily, but it's just a really, really cool effect. Like which could so very easily be just a sound effect in some kind of sci-fi world. Um, let's take a look at the frequency dependent tool. That's this thing here. Now you don't know what that is because the human mind has no idea what language sounds like without the higher frequencies, the sibilance from here up. Likes to play down his in fact, I can get up to here. You still understand it. In fact, I can get up to here. You can still understand it, and we're at almost 4K and up. So we can find some of these interesting, very narrow frequencies, like this. And we can add others to it. It's like a chord on an organ. So some really cool things you can do with just the frequency tool. Obviously, that's starting like dialogue. It's not really a sound effect. Let's look at the time tool. And one of the things, we do this in trailers all the time. And this may not be the best way to do this, but it's kind of a stuttering. Let's lay down a contribution. Don't you believe it? What he did that day. And we can also change Don't you believe it. the selection. Carl likes to play down his contribution. Don't you believe it? What he did that day, no captain had ever done. Carl likes to play and down with his the frequency selection tool, we can remove bits. What he did that day, 
no captain had ever done. Cooks like to play down his contribution. Can't you believe it? Me to that day, no captain had ever done. Cooks like to play down his contribution. Can't you believe it? Sort of sounds like phase Me issues. that day, no captain had ever done. And then let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. We can take the brush tool, make it really large, and go like this. Invert. Can't you believe it? What did he do that day? No captain, he double done. Kirk likes to play down his contribution. Don't you believe it? What did he do that day? So it's pretty cool stuff. Even if you put your stuff.